Hello, and welcome to another uh, edition of Becoming a Modern Man. This week I'm playing Red Green Aggro, and I apologize for not having the microphone, a new microphone for uh, this recording. I was uh, yet to buy one, but this was a sweet match, and I wanted to get it recorded from the replay whilst I still had it. So, uh, this was Red Green Aggro versus Gem. Uh, we lost the roll. And uh, our opponent chose to play first. He leads off with a treetop village. Our uh, hand's quite, quite good. We've got Hell Spark Elementals, we've got Bogget Ram Gang, uh, Dismember, Pillar of Flame. Uh, we draw into a Pillar of Flame. Just going to play out a Copper Line Gorge. Don't want to risk it coming into play taps by uh, leaving it too long. Drops a Blood Crypt into play. Inquisition just takes the Ram Gang, which is quite unfortunate, but. Not the end of the world. It's quite resilient to uh, discard with the uh, amount of unearthed creatures it has. So, I'm just going to run out of Hellspark here. Back to 3. Point down to 14. Drops a Confidant. You don't really want to see that. Uh, sadly, we don't draw a land, so we can't play that under Hellspark or anything else, but it's just not worth the risk of him gaining that much card advantage off the uh, Confidant. I don't think. He activates his treetop village here. I'm not really sure why. I kind of feel like he was trying to bait out my dismember, but I had another dismember anyway, so I figured might as well put him down a land. So I did. And then uh, next turn, let's hit him for three again with the health spark. Which is probably our best play. Here's a death right shaman. Or oh, shaman. I don't know how you say that. Uh, we're just going to go over that as well. We can exile our unearthed creatures, which is super annoying. Sadly, that we're still lacking on lands, but I think it was worthwhile, possibly worth sacrificing and getting in for free with the health spark for that turn. Just to protect our with the health spark. Let's Liliana. It's not the best. I'm going to discard this member here, he doesn't have any creatures. Uh, do risk him playing a Tarmogoyf afterwards, if you don't really know what's in his hand, but I think the other cards really were uh, better at that moment in time at least. Attack with Bogot Ram Gang. Didn't use uh, Liliana, I think. Yeah, I hit the Liliana there. Which up to by making his discard. I'm going to throw away the uh, Groundbreaker, seems though I don't really have the mana to play it. This really should be a Ball of Lightning. I just copied the list as it was, I saw it in the daily. Uh, really not sure why it's not a Ball of Lightning. I think that would be much better under the circumstances. But anyway. So, I'm going to bring back a Hellspark here. Attack. Uh, can't quite remember why I did for the Goblin Guide. Uh, yeah, probably to Pillar of Flame is Liliana. I suppose I could have played the Goblin Guide instead, but I just didn't want to run the risk of being taken out by removal. So I sent both my guys at uh, to life total. Then down to three, and Pillar him at the end of turn, getting rid of the Liliana. Which uh, responds by dropping another one and making me uh, sack my pocket. Just gonna play Goblin Guide and Hell Spark. Get him. Uh, attack right at him. Oh, wait, sorry. No. Uh, attack with the guide. Kill Liliana. And the uh, Hell Spark in his face. <coughs> Drops a Kitchen Finks, which is pretty unfortunate. But, uh, boosts his life total and makes it much harder for me. Especially when I've got. I'm pretty much in top deck mode. Unfortunately, one of my top decks is Blood Red Elf. We cascade into Strangle Rope Geist, which is very cool for me. Attack the 7 here, which would leave him dead, but we know he's got a Brook Decay. We can use that on the Gambler Guide, the only logical choice, really. But, uh, still get him down to 1. And just going to attack. What's our uh, Geist? So that turned out to not be such a great attack for me. Uh, 
things happened there at once, but basically the uh, kitchen fix persisted and my uh, strangle root guys came back with the uh, undying. Don't really have a good attack here. Unfortunately I just draw an incinerate for the uh, three damage to his face and uh, that's the end of that, game one. And so we're going to move on to game two.